guys, in today's video I wanted to do a quick little haul showing some of my favorite vintage finds of 2020. Now in the beginning of last year, I made sustainability a goal, so I wanted to do less impulse buying and more investing in quality items that I knew would last me a long time and that would also match with other items in my closet. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So this first item I want to show you here is this vintage pair of Ray-Bans. These are the side street model. So I don't remember if I got these early in 2020 or maybe in 2019, but my dad found these at a flea market in a box marked um, with items for $5. So at first he wasn't sure if they were real or not. And then I took a look at them and I see that they have a BL etched on the side. So then I quickly remembered that Ray-Bans were initially made and created by a company called Bosch & Lom before they were acquired by Luxoctica in 1999. So I took these out of the box, ran to the vendor and asked him how much they were and he said they were five bucks and I said, well, I think I might just have to get these. And I am so glad that I did buy them because these are probably like the coolest sunglasses that I have in my collection. So this first shirt I have right here is a 1994 California graphic tee. I got this one off of eBay for about $2. I couldn't believe it because I've never gotten a shirt that cheap, especially vintage ones. This one right here is a 1994 Smithsonian graphic t-shirt and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. It's very vibrant and has really cool graphics. This one I got for about $12 off of eBay as well. Next, I have these high-waisted Lee mom jeans. I got these new with tags from eBay for $18. Buying denim from eBay is always a hit or miss because usually vintage denim has little to no stretch. So I always recommend double checking your measurements and stuff to make sure that it will fit you. This skirt I have here is a 1980s Lee denim skirt and I loved it so much I had to get it in another color. I absolutely love the wash, but I'm not crazy about the fit. I got it for $20 off of Poshmark, and it's in absolute pristine condition, so I just couldn't let it go. I had to get it. I have never owned a plaid skirt until now because being tall does not make it easy to shop for plaid skirts these days. They're usually way too short. So, of course, I went online and found this 1980s plaid skirt. The brand is Helium. I got it for $7 off of eBay. It is so cute. The color matches with everything. It's the perfect length. It's high-waisted. I also got this plaid skirt for $10. I believe it's either 1970s or 1980s, um, but it is wool, so I don't think I'll be wearing it outside of fall or winter. I have a few pairs of overalls, but I have never owned a pair of short overalls, of course, because they're always way too short. So I found these from Poshmark for about $15 and they are the perfect length and so comfy. They match with everything. And now moving to the outerwear, I found this vintage 1990s Hard Rock Cafe jacket from eBay. It has this really cool patch in the back and also on the sleeves it has this Hard Rock Cafe detail and also in the inside of the collar. It's a bit shorter than what I wanted but for $15 I couldn't let it go. I got this vintage leather jacket. It's either 1970s or 1980s, and it's this beautiful chocolate color. I got this one for $11. And last but certainly not least is this black leather trench. I got this one for $20 off of Mercari. I don't know when I'm going to get to wear it, but it's definitely a classic staple piece that I needed in my closet. Moving on to dresses. Now this dress I didn't buy, my grandmother gave it to me. It was a maxi and I cut it and made it a shorter dress. And it's absolutely just so cute, I had to include it in here. Next I have this adorable 1990s fashion bug white floral dress. It is super cute, I just wish that it were a tad bit longer. But I definitely get those cottage core vibes. It has a cute little tie in the front and also cap sleeves and I got it from Poshmark for about $12. This one right here is a 1990s My Michelle Empire floral dress. I'm not that crazy about the print, but it was the perfect length, so I just went ahead and got it. I think I bought it for around $12. This dress right here is, I believe it's a 1990s floral dress. I'm not really sure on the date. I got it for around $12 as well. 
but it is slightly small on me so I might end up selling it or something. This one right here is either 1970s or 1980s floral dress. I got this one from Poshmark for also around $12. It seems like all my dresses cost around that price. This one is a 1990s My Michelle dress. I absolutely love this one because I don't have any maxi dresses and it's the perfect vibe. It matches with all my clothes and kind of my style. This one I got for $15 I think from eBay and it has this corset style um, tie in the back which is really cool so I absolutely love this dress and lastly this one right here is my favorite purchase of 2020 I got these Dr. Martens for $25 off of Mercari now I was not sure about the condition because the pictures were not clear and also I did not know that these were made in England so I believe that they were made in the 90s but I'm not absolutely sure but I'm really glad that I went ahead and took the risk and bought these because they are in perfect condition. Just a few little scuffs here and there. But other than that, they have plenty of life in them. And I'm so happy that I got them and added them to my collection. Alright guys, that wraps everything up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!